All right, Kenman here, and today is an exciting unboxing. Familiar territory, one of the many uh, happy places. Uh, what was the last one? Was it? Was it? I think it was. Oh wait, that's the one. Yep. We're gonna get into it. Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at re ugh, retail price. And I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others from a wet bag. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Yeah, this was soaking wet. Um, it snowed. It had, I'm in Minnesota. It did not really snow this winter much at all. But besides that, it just snowed recently and dumped on us for a couple of days. But today was warm. And so the excess snow that was on the roof was melting and dripping off and kind of dripping and dripping. And, of course, all over my new knife. Ugh. But once again, a detail of this company may come in handy. Will it even matter? Matter? I don't know. <laughs> Any guesses? Uh, it's just, okay, come on. Let's, we are, you know me, time waster. It is a Kubi. Bag on the floor. Did you hear it slide across the floor? Probably not. Um, yeah, Kubi puts them in these like vacuum sealed kind of bags. And so like if it were to be wet on the inside, which it is not, it looks to be good to go. It, those uh, prime bags, I guess they're fairly waterproof. We have our seal of approval. Did it. Boom. Any guesses on this Kubi? There she is. Pretty simple boxing from the Kubi on the floor. But like I was saying is they do this vacuum seal bag. So I got one, which one was it? Doesn't matter. But it was in a box and that box was soaking wet. And when I did the unboxing for it, my hand, I just went like this into the side of the box. It was so wet. But luckily the knife is sealed in one of these bags. Boom. Fresh. Fresh as the day. Mini bag on the floor. And we are good to go. Look what we have here today. This is the Kubi Darkness. Oh, look at that shape. Ooh. That's quite an interesting blade shape. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, time out. I need to grab my the grocer towel. I have one. Is this the one? Yep. It's got a little dot on it that I let it get extra oily. Oh no. Ick. You see that on there? It's like a yellow stain. Uh, um, hmm. All right, I'm going to wipe it off. We'll do the unboxing and then we'll see what I need to do. Wow, look at that. Okay, um, pretend there isn't a big stain right there and maybe it's fine. Maybe it'll come off. We are looking at the Kubi Darkness. The last Kubi we got was that Merked. We'll look at that in a second. I thought it was the Ultim Titus. Okay, D2 steel for the blade with a very interesting shape. It's got that flipper tab. It's got this like curve with a little tip point right there and then a secondary um, grind here with another tip at the end. Really kind of interesting. It's got this little ramp front can you choke up on that yeah you can all right look at that I don't know what that is 
but it doesn't want to come off. Okay, G10 handle for the die project, right? What an interesting kind of a simple flat top. Not a lot of shape to it on the side, or on the, I guess, side, yeah. Um, there are these little kind of notches there and a little a few more on this side here. So both sides kind of have these ridges on them. Kind of feel nice in the hand. Feel those pretty good. This is a larger knife. My hand, I can kind of stretch out. And uh, that, it's a full, this is a full big size knife. That jimps right there feels good on the little bit of a ramp going up. They're little tiny little jimps, but they do their job. Get my index finger out on there for doing a... So yeah, it's got this grind that kind of reverse curve here just a little bit and then comes around. So there's almost a point right there. And I believe, yeah, you can choke up on this knife. It is large. Okay. Drop shuts fairly well. That flipper tab is good. I'm going to try to fail it, push it with the weakest amount of pressure I can. The detent is pretty strong. Pulls it in right at the end there. Oop. Nice. Okay. Flick. Ooh. Ugh. So the flick is a little tight. Kind of feels like the Raven. Ugh. Or you got to kind of push forward a little bit with it. I'll show you that one in a second here as well. Um, yeah, thumb flick out is easy. What's everyone think about the shape of this knife here? So we can swap the clip to the other side. So that's good for the lefties. Nice, simple design for that handle, yet it feels good. It's big. I like a bigger knife, bigger handle. Um, lock up on the blade it is solid. No play there. Ooh, look at how this comes down right here, and that blade rides. Can you touch it? It's close, but I can't touch the tip of the blade right there. But the way that kind of cuts in there, you see that it's interesting, right? But look at that forces you to notice if it wasn't centered and it's centered really nice that thumb out works really good flipper tab excellent it's probably break in nice yeah it's one of those ones where the with the with the finger the spidey flick instead of kind of flipping this way with it you kind of have to push out and kind of help the blade swing around it's a little bit harder of a push it's not impossible. I've had some that are harder, diff, harder, more difficult words than this one here, um, but it's doable. What was that one I had that was just impossible? This will break in nicely, though. Okay, so let's see. I talked about the jimps, the detent. Let's get a little close-up going across here, and then we can talk about this issue. Yeah, it's really pretty simple across here. I like Kubi's pivot, captive pivot. They put their name up there as well, but they keep it fairly clean. But what is this? I got the D2 written right there. I'm going to figure out what this oil is and hope that I can get it off of there. Otherwise, I got a blade with a stain on it. Show side. This is my show side, though. I'm a lefty. It'll be fine. Okay, looks out pretty nice. Like I said, uh, I think once this breaks in, it's going to be pretty fun. It's a cool looking shape. I'm not sure about the sharpening of that. It'll be a little bit more uh, work, I guess. <laughs> All right, so this is a full size for sure. Eight and a half tip to tip approximately. Blade length gets you three and three quarters with a cutting surface uh, on about three and three quarters as well with that little belly and that 
dual grind kind of area. You got this little forward shoil. You can get your finger in there. And the handle is, wow, four and three quarters, almost four and seven eighths almost. That's crazy. That's a long handle. Width this way, it's about a half inch on the thickest spot there without the clip. Clip is interesting. It's a longer clip. It's not nested or recessed in. So let's see how that goes in the pocket right there. It's long. Doesn't seem like the spring is too terribly tight. We'll test that out. Oops. Try that again. Thumb. Okay, so what does everyone think about this thing? Huh? I like Kubis. They are fun. They have some good action. A lot of cool designs. What color would we do on the scale die for this one here? Because I intend to dye it at some points. 4.08. On the heavier side, the pyrite is like 3.67. What is the Kubi Titus with the Altum 4.3? This was the uh, Kubi that I thought I got most recently. And one of my favorite knives. <laughs> I say that about so many knives, but the action, the drop, the, t the Altum, it's just a great knife. Um, but yeah, so it's, you know, 4.3, 4.0. Similar in length, but the Titius is so much wider. But I don't know how much Altum weighs in comparison to G10. Um, this is the new Merkt. Slim, long, sleek. Is this one 3.45? Raven is 3.6. And the Femius is 4.3. So the Femius is a heavier one as well. Demius is probably was my favorite Kubi for quite a while. It's a really cool. I don't know. I think the Titus is kind of taken over, but oh, it's tightened up on me. Such a cool looking knife. I did the dye on this one here with this kind of greenish, grayish, dark blue. Such a cool shape. The tip kind of goes up. It's not as good for a certain... Uh, applications and cuts in normal uh, world but uh, this one is definitely more like right on that point interesting uh, what was this one yeah the Raven had a real similar because they're both kind of a thin but the Ravens are very thin I think it looks like a flying V kind of a guitar what do you think about the blood red dye I did on this one here? But they have a very similar action. This is the one I was saying that you kind of, when you do the fl flick out like that, you kind of have to push out instead of up, which again, isn't as big, a, isn't a really big a deal, but you have to pay attention to that. Like I said, that first one, I went like this and I could sit there and do this all day and not get it to go. But if you just kind of push out a little bit, then it just drops out fine. Yeah. I can dig it. Um, okay, so more unboxing coming soon. More laser, uh, uh, more dye projects. What color would you like to see this one here? Um, check out my Instagram, KDK in 4K. K-D-K-I-N 4K. Uh, do some more high resolution photos and stuff over there. If you want to go check that out, I'll follow you. We can uh, have some photographic fun and uh, yeah, if you'd like to support the channel, I got my uh, membership kind of going, getting some customizations and stuff going for it as well. Uh, it's been fun on the channel, having a good time, going to continue going and uh, making some more fun content with knives. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.